Hello friends, good morning and welcome to Leg Life. Uh, it is about 6.45 a.m. and I am out of the house much earlier than I almost ever am because I have coffee with a friend this morning uh, who is leaving town early and so I just wanted to get a chance to see him before he leaves. I just said goodbye to Sherry Beth. She is up and getting ready for her day and then later tonight we actually are doing something super fun. Um, the Beyond Van Gogh exhibit. I don't know if you guys have seen this all over social media. It is the Vincent Van Gogh like projection show uh, that has been touring the country and I even think the world is actually here in Anchorage and we have tickets to go see it tonight with our friend Desi and so I thought what a fun day to pick up the camera bring you guys along throughout our day and end with Vincent Van Gogh so friends let's get our day started the sky this morning is pretty darn beautiful you can see the Sun poking through the clouds. And it is kind of a chilly morning. It is 52 degrees outside. Uh, in fact, I <laughs> walked out of the house this morning and I was like, oh, it is chilly. And I haven't felt that in a while. All right, so it is about two hours later. It is, what time now? It is about 9.05. Well, it's ex it's not about, it is exactly 9.05. Uh, had coffee with my friend John. We sat and talked to her a couple of hours, which was awesome to catch up with him. And now I have about about 55 minutes until my next meeting. Uh, there's a place in downtown Anchorage that opened within the last several months. It is a building where there's a number of different like businesses in it. It's like a shared space. Uh, and the businesses in here are That Feeling Company, which is coffee shop slash plant store. Fire Island Bread Company, which is an amazing local bakery. We've shown it to you guys, some of their other Anchorage locations on the channel before. Uh, La Bodega, which is an amazing local beer store. And it's just kind of this cool shared space in downtown Anchorage. I think I'm going to stop in and grab coffee numero dos of the day. And uh, I thought I'd bring you guys along and show you this really cool space in downtown Anchorage. Uh, Anchorage doesn't have a lot of things like this. So this is very fun for us. Let's go check it out. So you can see the businesses in here. Fire Island, Johnny's Produce, I forgot to mention them. Uh, that Feeling Company, La Bodega, and then there's like a physical therapy in there. You can see they have a pretty cool outdoor seating space on a rainy day like today not being used a lot. So when you walk in, Fire Island directly ahead smells amazing. And then over here is That Feeling Co. You can see lots of plants. They have like a coffee bar down there. Here's more inside That Feeling Co. And how fun, like couch. Back here is a smoothie and juice bar. Little Johnny's produce area. I think it's so cool. All of the all of the things in this one building downtown. All right, I got my purple juice. It is grape, strawberry, lemon, and red cabbage, and it's really really good. Um, it was pretty busy in there, uh, especially on like the Fire Island bread side. So I didn't show you guys like a ton of stuff, uh, but this is actually one of my favorite places. Like the different things in there. I love the fact that you can buy a house plant or get a beer or a juice or like a fresh baked loaf of bread all in one little location they actually have a bunch of indoor seating as well so it's not just the outside seating uh, so if you're in like downtown anchorage and you're just looking for like a cool coffee shop a cool place to go check out this place definitely 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 one of my favorites all right so i think meetings are finished today uh now i just have a couple of errands to run the place i'm going now is actually a place that i haven't been in a while and it's one of my favorite places i'm at costco but i'm not at costco because i really need anything there are a couple things i want to pick up but i'm at costco to i'm at costco to see something i need to see if they really do have something out in store so let's go into costco and see if i can find what i'm looking for you guys i know it's been a long time since i've been to costco because my Costco card was in like the very middle of my wallet. I had to dig to even find it. All right, so what I was looking for here at Costco was actually Christmas stuff. I've seen a lot of people posting around the country that Costco has Christmas stuff out. I don't see any yet. Some of that may be because here in Alaska, it's still a very important season. It's still fishing season, so we still have a lot of stuff like fishing rods, even like shrimp traps. Lots and lots of backpacks, lots of coolers. So still lots of fishing stuff out at Costco here in Alaska. 
So I don't see Christmas stuff yet, but my search continues. Wait one second, you guys. They've got a couple trees. They've got this Disney holiday house with lights. Oh my God, Sherry would love that so much. They have gnomes, they've got ribbon, and then they've got like some fall stuff. Uh, look how cool this is though. Granted, it is $130. Well, Christmas stuff might've been a little bit of a letdown, but one thing that is never a letdown white queso and i've never seen this before so definitely getting a white queso all right so they also have dungeness crab and if you remember we went to crab fest basically we would pay 20 dollars for like two of these so this is an amazing price because like in this one you get four of them for 27 dollars um i I think I might want to get some of these. And then along with crab, they also have a uh, halibut, which is $23.99 a pound. Um, honestly, a pretty good price for halibut. Halibut's been super expensive uh, for, well, quite a while. And then over here, we have cod, which is much less expensive, like $33 for all of that. And then down here, $10.99 per pound for fresh Alaska sockeye, and look how beautiful those fillets look. So, salmon looks good, cod looks good, halibut looks good, and crab. Nice seafood selection, Costco. All right, Costco is done. Um, was it a successful trip? Well, I don't know. Their Christmas selection was disappointing, although I am keeping in mind that it's still August, so I'll have a lot more Christmas stuff as we get closer. Um, but I also left Costco with white queso, and so I feel like anytime you leave a store with queso, you can't call it a failure. Like, it's just not, it's not even allowed, it's not legal. So, yes, success because of queso. It is a few hours later, and look who is home from work. Me. Sherry Beth, how was your day? okay so we have not told them about the incident. <laughs> the incident so what happened yesterday morning i was getting ready for work packing my bag putting my computer in my bag and dropped my computer directly onto my toe your toe is well it's uh, very big and the bruise is like taking over your whole foot. Yeah. But we don't think it's broken. No, I sent pictures to Desi and she had me like try a few things and she thinks it might be fractured, but that there's really like nothing we can do for it aside from what I'm already doing, which is ice and elevate and medicine, uh, pain meds. But so. we are going tonight now to walk around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then go are. exhibit on your wonky toe. Yeah, and it's pouring rain, and I was gonna wear my boots, but I just tried to put them on, and my toe was too big. So you're gonna wear your? I'm gonna wear my Crocs. Oh, okay, I'm gonna drop you off very close to the door. And speaking of Desi, Desi's going with us tonight. Yes, she is. So, you ready to go? Yep. Ready to cram your giant toe into your Crocs and go look at some Van Gogh? Mm -hmm. It's a weird, that's a weird sentence. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, so we're taking Sherry's car um, tonight. We're going downtown to the Zenina Convention Center, which is where the Van Gogh exhibit is. And we don't normally drive your car. And I don't know how this happens. Um, it's it's very odd to oh, me no. <laughs> how, how this happens. You know what I'm gonna say, don't you? Yes, I do. Let me show them. It is a miracle to me that the only time we take Sherry's car <laughs> is when it's almost out of gas. I don't intend to do that. All I'm saying is that it feels a little intentional. It's not intentional. Here's the thing. I I don't pay attention to it. And I I actually noticed it this morning and I was like, it's fine. How about how about we fill up your car with gas before we come home and I'll I'll fill it up for you. So okay. you don't have to, okay? It's, it's very intentional. <laughs> so you can see the weather um, definitely rainier than it was earlier today. Today was just like cloudy-ish, but the rain is definitely here. 
All right, I just dropped Sherry off at the front door of the convention center, and I'm walking over there now to meet her. Also, we'll show you this more in detail in future videos, but this is a new mural being painted in downtown Anchorage that is absolutely beautiful. But we'll come show you that on a day that it's not pouring rain. Denina Civic and Convention Center, here we go. All right, so here we are walking in. They did tell us that we're allowed to take as much photo and video as we want, just with no flash. I can't yeah. believe. Oh, get it? Go this way. Get it? Go this way. So when you first walk in, this is what you see. The Beyond Van Gogh panels. So on these panels, there's a bunch of quotes. I think this is my favorite one so far. It says, find things beautiful as much as you can. Most people find too little beautiful. That was in a letter that he wrote to his brother, Theo. This is something I did not know. In 1877, and having failed as an art dealer and not quite ready to devote himself to painting, he decides to become a preacher. I did not know that. Sherry Beth, did you know that Van Gogh was a preacher? This is interesting. It's talking about a short time after the famous, of course, cutting off his ear incident. He committed himself to an asylum. And it was actually from there that he painted Starry Night, inspired by the view from his window in the asylum. Now we're heading into the next room. Like any good show, it ends in the gift shop. I'm actually really excited they have a gift shop. I didn't know they did until Desi 
told me so. Um, lots of oh, a bucket hat. Oh no. You love bucket hats. I do think the Vincent Van Gogh plushie, maybe. He's got a little sunflower. Okay, and he has a bandage on his ear. That's the best. As soon as you leave the gift shop, they have this little photo banner. You get your photos in front of. And then the exit is over here, and we are done with the Beyond Van Gogh exhibit. All right, friends, we are finished with the Beyond Van Gogh exhibit. Uh, we're back in the car, about to go to dinner. But we wanted to wrap up the video and give you our Beyond Van Gogh thoughts. Um, first of all, this is something, if you don't know, has been traveling around the country, around the world for a while now, a little while now. Yeah. And we've all seen photos, at least I'm sure most of us have seen photos on social media of friends that have gone and visited, yeah. the ads they run. And so I feel like I went into this with kind of feeling like I knew what to expect. You know, it's like, okay, like I understand what this is going to be. It's going to be beautiful. Let's go see it. Right. Um, art. Yeah, exactly. Right. Sherry Beth, but mm -hmm. even going into it with an idea of what it was, what'd you think? Um, <laughs> I cried a few times, I'm not gonna lie. Um, there was one time I, um, when you guys saw I asked Sherry, it was right after we first got in there, like, Sherry, what do you think? Or Sherry, how are you doing? That, something like that. And I, I couldn't speak. Like, I was fighting tears and I, like, lump in the throat like could not speak and so I was just like <laughs> I don't know tell, what you want me to say tell me why what was it about Beyond <clears throat> Van Gogh that like evoked the emotion um so I love his art I always have um and I there was just there was something about being completely immersed yep. in it for me that it, it, I don't know. So like we kind of started like walking through and kind of reading his story and which I knew a lot of, but um, it was just sort of like a reminder of, you know, where he was when things were painted and that kind of stuff and different periods in his life. And, um, and then you walk into this room and all of the walls and the floor and these pillars and like everything is just like you're surrounded by this moving art yeah. and i mean it's stunning <laughs> that was the thing that was so that was the thing that there was no way to prepare for was the immersiveness of it mm -hmm. um I loved walking through and reading his story because unlike Sherry, like I didn't know a lot about his story. Like I knew he painted Starry Night. I knew that he cut off his ear. Like, you know what I mean? Like I didn't know a ton about him other than that. Obviously I recognized a ton of his paintings, right? They're just iconic. Right. But I didn't know the story, the relationship with his brother. I didn't know, uh, even in some ways, like his backstory or the descent into like, I don't want to say madness, but kind of. Like a little kind bit. Of, yeah. And so that to me actually was really helpful to walk through that first and to take the time and read it. Um, but I, I think we both were just blown away by it. Yeah, and I would say that if, if you're a fan of art um, and or Van Gogh, if it's in a city near you, you should really try to go because it was, it's so much better than what social media and even all their ads and everything portrays. Yeah, I I would go back. Like while it's in Anchorage, I 100% would go back. Um, it was beautiful, breathtaking, stunning, evoked emotion, all of that stuff. So, right. so friends- I could sit on that bench and just watch it. For, for hours. hours, yeah, 100% without a doubt, same. Right. So we love you guys. Just wanted to bring you along. It's something that I know a lot of you have already seen. Some of you may be considering whether to see it. Sherry and I's recommendation, if it's near, you go see it. Absolutely. It's worth it. Yeah. We love you guys so much. Thanks for hanging out with us today on another Leg Life video. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.